Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 24, reading from verse 13 to 21. And it says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso read it, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let them which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Amen. So uh, this morning we have a lot to talk about. Matthew, the one thing I know about God is that he never does anything without give instruction and guidance and warning so that people can have a chance to make things right in their lives. And so in the reading this morning, we are told of the different events that will take place just before Jesus comes. And he starts out by saying that those who will endure the time, those who will remain faithful despite the difficulties that they will face, he says that they will be saved. And remember, you can only endure while you depend on God. So it says that we must persevere. And when we persevere, then we will become victorious in the end and we will be saved. And he went on to say that the gospel that we preach, we preach the gospel inform men and women of their savior it is to draw them to god and to give them a better way than the way that they currently have so it is life eternal being given to them the word of god is there to give guidance reproof correction and so on direction and so it is dear to be a witness. That's what the reading says. That's what the verse says. That the gospel of the kingdom must what? Be preached into all the world. For a what? A witness. So the gospel is a witness. And it will stand as a witness on the day of judgment. In fact, it is standing as a witness today because when you hear the word of God and you choose not to hear or you choose not to be obedient to it, it has now become a witness against you. And that is why no Christian or no one sharing the word of God needs to take on the rule of the Bible, meaning you don't need to condemn and badger anybody because the word of God already pointing out the errors. So, the word of God will do what? The word of God and the gospel, it will be preached to stand as a witness so that when it's all said and done, no one will have any excuse because what? The word of God will would have been given to all of us and 
we made the choice to either accept or to reject it. Amen. And so Jesus was here telling his disciples to look here. When you see this sign, when you see the abomination and the desolation, when you see the things that Daniel spoke of, when you see the society has gone to the dogs, when the moral decay has become a stench in the ear, know that God is even at the door. Know that judgment is coming and he went on to warn them and says look here if you are on the mountain and he went on and says that or if you are in in those occupied places and he went on to say that those in judea they must flee to the mountains we are not in judea today but we live in the cities and all of these populated places. And so when we see things have gone to the dogs, then we know that we need to move out of these places because the judgment of God will start affecting the cities first. Huh? And it will be better for you not to be there when everything is kicking against the rock if you get my drift so it is always a good idea not to live in the cities and if you live in the cities don't make it a permanent thing right don't make it a permanent thing prepare yourself to move because when you think about it you realize that a lot of time when destruction is happening it's always happening in the cities first. Cities are not safe to live in, you know? Because you have these skyscrapers and all of these things. So when natural disaster hit, it's difficult for people to run to safety. And that is why when you have like earthquake and all of these things, tornado, storm, serious weather, so many people lose their lives because they cannot get to safety on time because living in the city is like living in in a maze so it's not a safe place to live so and he he also said that those who are on the house oh, stop don't bother come down those who are in the field don't bother go back home wherever you are he's saying just stay there because if you go back in Judea, if you come back where the destruction is happening, then you will be affected and maybe be destroyed. So he's saying that do not return, not even for close. The further you are, the better for you. And it spoke about those who are with child or those who are pregnant in those times. It says it's going to be difficult for them because you know imagine a mother or a pregnant woman running up and down with a pregnant belly she's not supposed to be ackling herself like that but what choice she have she have to run to safety so the bible said whoa and when and when the bible used the word whoa you know it's a very serious serious matter i pray that none of us will be caught up into this when those are happening but that we will be in the safe bosom of jesus where we belong so he says that pray that your flight be not where in the winter or on the sabbath day imagine you trying to run in the snow so all of these metaphors that have been used Jesus is basically saying that it's best for you to run to safety when the time is calm because when things erupt and when things get bad you may not have the time or the opportunity to run to safety 
And so you will be caught up in what is happening. So that's basically what he's trying to say. Run to safety when the time is easy for you to do so. Or better for you to do so. Because all the things that will happen and are happening, they have never happened before. He says that these things that will happen, they have never happened since there was a world. Since the creation of this world until now. And so whatever you see is in comparison to, to what will be. So, you need to make a decision and to do what you need to do so that God can protect you. Amen? So, I pray this morning that we will be encouraged. And all of this is not to scare you, you know. I know it sounds like a hard pill to swallow and it may be scary for a lot of us, but it's not to scare us. That's not why. It's just like you telling your child that if they do that or do this, the consequence will be this or be that. You tell them because you're trying to protect them. So that's what God is doing here. He's telling us what will be and telling us how we can escape the consequences of it. That's all. So may we be encouraged and may we stay close to Jesus as we continue to wait for his soon return. Amen.